Hey hello everyone, I'm TLR Osborne 171 and today I am going to show you how to sheath Onua's giant hammer on his back. This way he can have free hands and show off his hands for posing. So let's get right into it. Because of Onua's bulky build, he has lots of extra pinholes and axle holes that are exposed. Now this will give lots of option for storing his hammer and makes it really easy. Now on my version you'll notice that this blue pin and this gray axle pin are switched. Now this switch I did on Pohatu's just for aesthetic purposes to make him look better. Now on Onua this switch is almost required so then the hammer head can fit on his back nicely with all the other pieces. So now that I got all that out of the way, let's look at the weapon and how it has to be assembled and disassembled. So here are all the parts for Onua's hammer. So basically, you're just gonna leave the hammer head as it is. That is perfectly fine. But the handle is a little more tricky. So first, you're gonna have to take this too long uh, pin bushing and put in one of the pin axles into one end. Then for this part you're going to take one of the other pin axles and attach it to the uh, two long axle connector and then put in these four long axle. And then this giant axle you're just going to leave it alone. That is perfectly fine as it is. So let's get right into putting this stuff on his back. Now to start, you're going to take the two long pin bushing with the pin axle on it and put it on the top of the unity piece on this blue pin. Now that's not going to fall off at all. Now you're also, next you're going to take this three pieces and attach it into this side or the other side, whichever you prefer, of the extra uh, armor on the sides to make Onua bulky. Now I'm going to put the hammer head on the left side so on the right side you're going to put the very long axle. Now this long axle sticks out very far. I have to admit that myself it sticks out very far. Now this is all forgiven when you put the hammer head on because of how bulky the piece is itself. Now, for the hammerhead, you're simply going to stick it into this other Hordika neck on the open axle. And voila, there you go. You've stored everything on Onua's back. Now, as I was saying, this putting this piece right here is required because the hammerhead will it has very limited room and it putting it one more one or putting it on the lower orientation gives the hammerhead very little room for movement and limits the articulation of this arm by a good amount and makes this shoulder pauldron a little harder to position just because of this hammerhead not being able to rotate just that tiny bit. With the weapon stored on Onua's back you can actually get some very interesting poses and it's really awesome to see Onua look big and bulky and intimidating without wielding his giant hammer. So that's about it guys. I'm Teeler Osborne 171 Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everyone you know about my channel because the support is always welcome. Now, I don't know which Toa I'm going to be doing next. It's probably going to be whichever one I pick up because I only have Onua and Pohatu at the time of this recording. So, I hope to do another one actually very soon because this was a very, these were very easy videos to make and they were actually quite fun. Okay, see you later guys. Bye bye.